Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I want to talk to you guys about proactive and reactive maintenance programs because it changes the way that you interact with your customer and at the same time, it changes how you mentally take on control of a situation. You take responsibility or you don't. And um, yeah, I'm here in my stairwell of my apartment. I'm going to show you an example of a reactive maintenance program. <sighs> this is crazy. So here we are in the stairwell. You might think, how does this have anything whatsoever to do with medical maintenance? Well, all maintenance programs have certain characteristics. And one of them is when your customer tells you that there's a problem. Now, I had a gentleman who showed up uninvited, who came in, and I confronted him and asked him, who the heck was he? And apparently, I had some sort of leaky faucet that I was unaware of. And I allowed him to come in, check my faucets, no problem. But as the maintenance guy went to leave, I told him, hey, by the way, on these stairs right here, I have what I it, they feel like I've got nails or screws popping up at least a quarter of an inch. Now you can't see it because of the nap of the carpets, but they're there. And the thing is, is this is not the smallest set of stairs, all right? It's not the biggest, but it's definitely not the smallest. And in these stairs, when these, when these screws and probably nails, wherever they're at, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, they're, they're definitely a quarter of an inch. And if your shoe catches this, let's say you're going down the stairs and your shoe catches that, you're not expecting it. You could fall down the stairs. It directly makes a, a safety hazard for even being in this domicile. But besides that, think of the health and safety hazards if you're in socks or even barefoot going down these stairs to put your shoes on. Now, I counted probably about six or so of these screws, and they're randomly. I don't even remember where they're at. I got to map them out, and I got to do something about them myself. The reason I have to do something about them myself is because I notified him that, hey, this is a hazard. Can you please do something about it? He was right there. I mean, all it took was to go and grab a hammer and come back and bam, 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 and just beat him down when it took seconds. But he said, you need to go to the main office and submit a, a, a work order request. I was like, you know something? Imagine if you were in a hospital and you identified or your customer identified a safety hazard and you told them, go put in a work order. Some biomeds do this, and that's why I'm, I'm pointing this out to you guys. Yeah, he can get away with this because nobody is apparently going to die, right? Do you know that in a hospital? When your customer identifies a hazard, you say, go put in a work order. Is that, is that really acceptable in a medical care facility? It's not even, in my opinion, acceptable in this situation because we all know that everybody's effective day isn't completely efficient. So that means he's going to have a lot of downtime. He could have probably just, like I said, spent a couple minutes, went and got a hammer, came back, felt him out, pounded him down, pressed on with his day. Everybody's safe. We're good. But the same thing happens in medical facilities where somebody says, go put in a work order. They walk away and that equipment ends up back in circulation. And somebody can get hurt or they can get killed. And that is because it's a reactive equipment management plan or a reactive maintenance program. And that's exactly what he did here. It was a reactive program. He didn't want to deal with it until he put a, you know, had a work order. And I've been in many biomed shops where that is the status quo is they don't want to deal with something until there's a work order, even if it's a patient hazard and it's a clear and present danger. So anyway, guys, I just want to bring it to you guys' attention and 
keep you on the right mental stairway. Try to be a proactive maintenance program because it's about safety. It's about convenience. It's about getting the problem solved as quickly as possible because you never know what's going to happen in the next five minutes. Thanks for watching, guys.